Hello everyone, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video, we will discuss about adjacency list representation in which we will know code for it. Then we will know how to add edge to vertex. And after that, we will also know what is a degree of vertex. And with that, we will also have a implementation of it. So this is a graph where vertex are the nodes which are present over here. Here we have nodes A, B, C, then D and here E. And if we come to edges, edges we will denote it with E. So here edges are first going from A to B, then A to C, then B to D, B to C, coming to C we have C to D and for D, D to E, with that B to E. So these are the edges for this particular graph. Now here if I need uh, adjacency list what I'll do first of all I'll write all the vertex first for A similarly for rest of the vertex here these vertex will be treated as head of the linked list and for A we have B and C so I'll write making linked list B and C. Then we will check for B. B has four nodes going to A, C, D and E. Then if we check for C, we have A, B and D. Then for D, we have B, E and C. Similarly for 2 we have B and D as adjacent nodes as like this. Now let's go to PyCharm and we'll implement for this graph. So this is a graph and here we will start writing the program. So first of all let's define the adjacency list which we will define in the dictionary form where vertex will be key so for a which are in the adjacent to it will be acting as its values so for a it's b and c b and c this i will keep in list form then we will check for b Let's keep it in next line. For B, there are A, D and E. Then for C, it's A and D. Then for D, it's C, B and E. Then at last, E has the adjacent nodes as B and D. So here we got all the adjacent list. Now if I want to print the adjacent list of let's say B and when I run this I got A, D, E. Now let's see if I want to add edge to the vertex. Let's say for A I want to add an edge to the D. So if I add an edge, there is a node for addition at A as well as on D part. So how can I do this? Here I need to make use of append where I'll append in A. In A node, I want to append D. 
Similarly, I need to add on vertex D to A as like this. Let's remove this print part and let's see when I print the adjacency list for all. So when I run this, here we can see at A, D node has been added. Similarly for D, A vertex has been added. So this was the major part. Now let's write in structured way. So here I will make a class. Let's delete this blue part. So I will write class the graph and inside this I will make init function where I'll define all the object variables. So I'll start with def init where I will have nodes. Nodes will be the vertex. So here I will define self.nodes is equal to nodes. And with that, I will also have an object variable as self dot underscore list equal to an empty dictionary. First of all, I want adjacent list to be empty. And then we will start filling up the nodes into this dictionary. So we will do sequence by sequence. So initially we will initialize this dictionary as empty. With that I will have all the nodes defined over here as A, B, C, D and E all the vertexes. Let's make the object with graph is equal to graph. So to create adjacency list we will loop. Here I will create a loop with for node in this self dot nodes and these nodes will be defined in adjacency list which is self dot adjacent list node. So here we got all the vertex. Let's print this. So for printing I will make a separate function with the name print adjacent. Here we will not define arguments as it is simply for printing. So first of all we will have the loop for node in self.nodes which will print the node with the colon and after that self.adjacent list node and here we will call it graph.print so let's see by running the program here the missing arguments oops here i need to define nodes let's run it again there are so many errors here because here it should be equal to a list let's run it again and here I got all the vertex with empty. Let's fill these vertexes. So for that I will create a function with the name. Let's make it before. df add edge. Where I'll have vertex. Let's keep it v and e. Here we will add edges as we have added before where self dot adjacent list will have v dot append e. Here if e is appending to v then v will also be appended to e. As we have seen earlier for a c is adjacent then if we see for c c also has a as adjacent vertex so that we will do over here i'll copy this and will paste over here for e also we will have v right 
so let's call this here I will call the function graph dot add edge let's see for two vertexes a and b let's see first for a and b then we will check for the rest of them so when I run this so here we have seen for a b is acting as adjacent vertex similarly for b a is acting as adjacent vertex so let's add more edges to it here outside the class I will define it globally as edge equal to all the edges which we have defined over here for A there is B and C then for B A C and D then for C D then for D D E and also we have B E and then we need to add a for loop for V E in edges graph will add all the V and E whichever we have defined in edges here we have already defined A B so I'll delete this and let's run this program now here we got A for B C for B we have four nodes A C D and E then we will check for C there are three vertex A B and D for D we have three edges C B and E and for E we have B and D that means it is correct so we have seen how to represent adjacency list now we can add more functions to it let's see for degree but before that first we should know what is degree of the graph how to define it for particular vertices so we will go to open board so what is degree so degree of a graph is the number of edges incident on it so for a we have two edges which are incident on it so for a we can say degrees 2 now if we see for B there are four edges incident on it so degree of B is 4 now if there is a loop for C so how many degrees will be there 1 2 3 and this will be which is going and incidenting on it so it will have 2 degree and the rest are 3 so it will have 5 so the thing I want to say here the loop if there is any loop on any vertex the degree will be treated as 2 if we have any node over here which is isolated which doesn't have any edges it will have degree 0 because it has no connection with any edges and also we can say it as isolated vertex so this was degree of vertex so let's see its implementation through python so i'll go to pycharm and here we will make one more function with def degree of vertex here i will define node as an argument and here I will have the adjacent list with its node. Now so as to define the degree of vertex we should have the length of it. So I will take its length and let's allocate a variable to it. Let's say degree and we will return degree here. So for making function work, I will call this function, comment this and here I'll write print graph dot degree. Here let's say I want for B for which we know it's 4 degree. So when I run this, I got 4. 
So this was all about degree of vertex. Now let's see for directed graph. Let's know what are directed and undirected graph. The graph in front of my screen is undirected graph. Undirected graph means if there is an edge between AB that means there is also an edge between B and A. So they are bidirectional. If we take the practical example, let's say Facebook. If A sends the friend request to B, that means A is a friend to B as well as B is also a friend of A. So there is a mutual relationship. But when it comes to directed graph, directed graph as the name suggested there is a direction direction from a to b if there is an edge between a to b that doesn't mean b will also have a edge with a there is only one direction if we take instagram example if a follows b in terms of followers that doesn't mean that B will also follow A which is also like if we follow any actor then we are the followers of that actor but in response they are not following us that comes under directed graph. Now let's see its implementation in terms of code. So for this I will go to init function and will add one more argument as is underscore directed for directed graph and will define initially as false and whenever I want it as is underscore directed is equal to true as the vertex of B but B won't be having A as the vertex so we will go in the function and here I will define the object variable as self dot is underscore directed is equal to is underscore directed. And whenever we are adding the edges here E is appended to B but V won't be appended to E. So here I will make the condition if self is underscore directed or not then we will have that means if the graph is directed then this won't be appended we will have all the unique adjacent vertexes and i will comment this and will make this uncommented so here i made this to be directed graph as i have defined it as true so let's run this program and here we got all the unique vertexes which are adjacent to it. For A, it's B and C. B won't be having A vertex because it's already defined over here. And the rest answer will be as like this. Now if I make this false, that means we want undirected graph. So when I run this program, I got all the vertex which are adjacent to it. So this is all about representation of a graph where we knew the degree of graph, directed, undirected graph and all the representation of vertexes and edges of the graph. So hope you liked it. So please give a like, comment and share my video. Thank you.